different plants are adapted to live best in different vegetation areas in the world, enjoying the kind of soil, climate, temperature, seasonal changes, and amount of water that are best suited to their needs, these are important factors that affect the rate of growth, size, and reproduction of all plants. Our topic for today in I Agree by Sardan is factors affecting the growth of plants. There are three factors that affect the growth of plants. The first one is what we call soil. When you say soil, it is a mixture of organic matter, minerals, gases, liquids, and organisms that together support life. Soil is also important factor that affects crop production. There are different kinds of soil, which is classified into four types. The first one is sandy soil, silt soil, clay soil, and loamy soil. The texture and the chemical composition of soil determine the kind of plants that can grow well in a particular location. Plants that grow naturally in a certain type of soil are adapted to its texture and mineral content and are able to absorb water and extract minerals for, from it. These nutrients are essential for plant growth. Here are the texture of different soil types. If your soil is sandy, the texture is coarse or gritty. If the soil is loamy, the texture is sticks to finger when wet, can be easily molded, but will not form rings. While clayey, it is very sticky, but powdery when dry, smooth and can be shaped into any form. Next factors that can affect the growth of plant is what we call water. What is a water? It is an inorganic, transparent, tasteless, odorless, and nearly colorless chemical substance, which is the main constituent of earth hydrosphere and the fluids of all known living organism. It is vital for all known forms of life, even though it provides no calories or organic nutrients. Water is vital to plants. Plants need water for supply of nutrients and for photosynthesis and fertilization. For plants, the most usable liquid water exists only in the soil. The growth of plant is dependent on the availability of water. Each individual plant cell contains a large amount of water. Without this, the cells could not carry on the many processes that take place within a plant. Water carries important minerals from one part of a plant to another. Some plants rely on water to disperse their seeds. Next and last, that affect the growth of plant is climate. A climate is a long-term average of weather, typically average over a period of 30 years. Some of the meteorological variables that are commonly measured are temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, wind, and precipitation. A climate is very important factors in survival of plants. It plays a large part in determining the kind and number of plants that an area can support. The growth form of plant is also influenced by climate. Water is part of the factors which is included in climate. Temperature also act direct, directly upon plants. So each plant species has an optimum temperature associated with each of its functions, such as photosynthesis. The higher the temperature, the higher the transpiration of water from the plant. But 
if the plant is exposed in below freezing temperature, a large number of tropical plant species cannot survive. Wind can have substantial effect on the growth form of plants by inhibiting the growth of limbs on the windward side of trees. Trees in highly exposed places such as in mountains are found to be deformed. The trunk and branches are bent to near horizontal altitude. Facing away from the prevailing wind direction, in these habitats, the wind causes excessive drying on the exposed side of the plant. The wind is also a means in which seeds are scattered. It operates best on the outer edges of communities and in fairly open environment. Remember that climate of a place greatly affects the yield of crops. Certain methods such as protective vegetable cropping protects the crops in a harsh condition. In planting a garden, or in doing urban gardening, we have to plan a garden. In planning a garden, all we have to do is know what is a garden first. A garden is a partition of land used for growing flowers, vegetables, fruits, shrubs, and herbs. The factors that you need to consider in planning a garden are the following. Number one, you need to have a knowledge. Number two, location. Number three, variety of plant that you want to plant in your garden, whether it is a vegetable, a crop, a fruit tree, a shrub, or a flowering plants, or it can be an herb plant. Next is soil. Soil is very important. You need to check if the soil is sandy, loamy, silty, or clayey. And last, you know you need to have a planting calendar. So when you say planting calendar, it is a list of vegetables that you want to plant for a certain season or for the whole year. So a planting calendar, again, is a guide that tells you the best time to start planting your garden. So here, how do I create a planting calendar? Number one, make your planting list, the list of vegetables you want to plant in a specific area after you check your location and the type of soil. Number two, mark planting dates on the calendar. This is an example of a planting calendar. As you can see, we have a lot of crop. If you want to plant ampalaya, ampalaya is ideal for planting during October up to March, while it is off season during June to November. If you want to plant pet shy, the ideal month for pet shy planting is March to May and October to December. While the off season of pet shy, it is from July to September of the month. So planting calendar is very important in planning a garden. After planning a garden, all you have to do is select a suitable farm site also. So there are factors to consider in selecting a suitable farm site if you want to uh, have your own farm. Number one is nearness to the market. Sites near the market facilitate the disposal of products and ensure profit Consider the market where products will be sold. Next is nearness to home. A site near the home will enable the farmer to work at any time and help manage the farm efficiently. Number three, 
accessible roads and transportation facilities. Good roads from farm to market or shipping ports are important. Rough roads limit the volume of goods, increase wear and tear, and consume too much time. Transporting must be done with care to prevent bruising vegetables and fruits. Next to be considered is soil fertility. The soil in the farm must be fertile in order for plants to grow well. To be fertile, soil must consist of the right mixture of minerals, organic matter, and helpful microbes. It must be well drained. It should not be humid or wet. Next is water, which is the last factors to consider in selecting a suitable farm site. Water, because crops need water to grow any kind of plant. Some farmers rely entirely on rainfall for the necessary moisture which is not available all year round. It is important that the farm should be situated near a place where water is available. Sunlight also is important in selecting a suitable farm site. Why? Because the different types, there are different types of plants that are, uh, they want direct sunlight, while other types of crops or vegetable, they are shady plants or considered um, plants that do not want sunlight. So you need to consider also the sunlight. To reflect our activity or our lesson today, gardening should be well planned to be successful. And all plants need sunlight, a suitable climate, ample supply of water, and minerals from the soil. Remember, that if you want to be successful in agriculture, all you have to do is to have knowledge. Thank you.